Hello and welcome to my Delta Alpha Zulu aviation video and today we're going to be looking at the Cessna C172 and some different parts of it. So when I take people flying we're doing the walk around pre-flight checks a lot of the time they're asking me what the parts are that we're checking so I thought I'd make a short basic video just to show some of the parts. So the first part we're going to look at is the propeller which is at the front of the aircraft. The propeller spins round and acts like a wing producing lift but the lift goes in a forward direction and then we call that thrust ok so that's attached to the engine spins round and produces thrust next part we're going to look at is the wing tip so you've got the wing tip there on the end of each wing which would normally have a navigation light attached to it next part we're going to look at is the wing leading edge which is the front edge of the wing it's the first part of the wing which touches with the oncoming air as we're moving forward Then the inboard parts of the wing at the rear, the parts that move, are called flaps. So the flaps are used to change the shape of the aircraft wing. And by doing this it allows us to fly a lower minimum speed safely, which is what we need to do when we're coming in for a landing. And also it increases our descent angle, which is the angle the aircraft's descending. That's also helpful again when we're coming in for a landing. The parts on the outside, which often people confuse for flaps, are actually the ailerons. So these again change the shape of the wing, but this time they enable us to roll the aircraft to the left or right. So they're attached to the control column, so we normally operate them by turning the control column left or right. The back here we've got the tail plane. So this part of the aircraft is a stabilising part, and it helps us, or helps the aircraft, sorry, to keep stable in straight and level flight. The back part here is called the rudder. The rudder moves to the left and the right, which enables us to control the yaw of the aircraft. So by using pedals attached to the rudder, we deflect it, and then we are able to move the nose of the aircraft to the left or to the right. Underneath that, we've got the elevators there. So they go up and down. They enable us to control the pitch of the aircraft. So by pulling back or pushing forward on the control column, we can pull back and raise the nose of the aircraft or push forward and lower the nose of the aircraft and that's called pitch so also like we have a leading edge we also have a trailing edge of the wing so when the air is hitting the tra leading edge of the wing it travels above the top and underneath where we get the lift and it meets at the back and where the air meets is the wing trailing edge on a Cessna C172 we have a wing strut or brace which holds the wings up which is attached to the underneath of the wing and to the side of the aircraft you can see in the picture there and then finally what we're going to look at today is the landing gear so we, on a Cessna C172 we've got what they call a tricycle landing gear meaning there's one wheel at the front and two wheels at the back so they support the aircraft while it's on the ground and then when, they, when the aircraft takes off on a Cessna they actually don't retract, they stay where they are Whereas when you see larger aircraft, such as something like a 737, you see that the wheels will retract inside, which is called a retractable undercarriage. This is useful when you're flying high altitude, when you're flying faster. But as a C172 is predominantly a training aircraft, the wheels or the landing gear does not fold. Okay, so if we have been a basic explanation of some of the parts of a Cessna C172. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, please subscribe for some more videos coming soon.